Hello boys and girls, well I've just done my uh, stability test and done my safety test with the MCA inspector and to be honest I didn't go too bad. Obviously on screen now is a list of things you need, that's normally the same stuff that we've always needed. The only things that are slightly different is like bilge pumps and that sort of thing. Some boots, like a lot of tactiles, have got the old self-draining decks with like the old elephant trunk sock on the back well they're a big no-no now so in october last year i cut a well in the stern of the boot and fiberglassed it in and put a bilge pump in it so that's all right now but yeah everything's pretty much the same oh also you got to do the wolfson freeboard guidance notice basically you can go online and search for a wolfson calculator put the length and beam your boot in, and that'll calculate everything for you. So all it do is like generate a picture, a couple of triangles, what you supposedly stick on the side of your boot, so you know how to pull it over. But they have a bit, got a bit of common sense, so you're not going to look over the side of the boot when you're hauling, are you? Hauling pots to make sure you're not going over too far. So all they say is just print off the guidance pictures and put them in your fold and have a copy in your boot sort of thing, so you know roughly where you should pull to. Obviously, that's just common sense. We all know how far to pull a boots over if you get hefted and that sort of thing. So it's not really worth worrying about. But that's just playing the game, really. But I found the MCA test pretty good. Obviously, I'd have put handrails up and that sort of thing. I had handrails up halfway along the boot stainless handrails because your deck to your gunnel height has now got to be a metre. So I'd stainless handrails halfway along the boot the one side, the non hauling side, I put a rope between the handrail and the splash screen, and the other side I left open. The reason I left it open is obviously risk assessments. When we come ashore, you need to get out of the boot quick, especially if there's a bit of swell on the beach. And if you've got a rail there, that height, you can't climb over it very easy, so that's actually a risk to your own health by having a rail there. And that's also the working area. So, yeah. Well, everything went all right, so when I just applied to register to get the registration renewed for another five years and job's good and well hope there's a bit of information for you and any questions just ask all right catch you later boys and girls